Okay guys, so as promised, I told you I was going to do a house tour video this week, and so, yes, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it a little bit differently though, because I, the whole point of me doing this is kind of to explain like the whole like renovation process and like step by step and stuff like that, and remodeling, renovate, we're not technically renovating, whatever. So I'm going to do it like room by room instead of like one big huge house tour. I do want to do a little disclaimer. Uh, I didn't really take the time to like clean and make sure everything is perfect. So, like, I have a big heaping pile of laundry right here, and it's just, yeah, I I just didn't didn't do it. <laughs> I have no excuse. So I'm gonna start out with this room, which is temporarily mine in my husband's room. Um, as I told you in my last video, if you watched it, that. Um, my brother and my sister-in-law are living with us for uh, probably another year or so. So we will not be in this room permanently. Um, this room itself is not getting a lot done. Um, <clears throat> the lady who sold us the house had just recently put in these floors before she decided she didn't want to be here anymore. And the wood paneling and then this is brick um also if you remember in my last video this room used to be a carport but they finished it into a little room you can tell there's still a porch light there um so that's why i think i told you in my last video also that's why there's an electric heater in here because this room we have a portable air conditioner for the summer and then an electric heater for the winter because it doesn't have like the rest of the house has central air but this house, this part of the house doesn't because when they added it on, they never did that. That is one of our plans is to extend the central air so that this room has central air along with the rest of the house. So I'll just kind of, this is a room. This is the room. Sorry. I, like I said, this room is just temporary. So I'm not like too worried about like decorating and stuff because I don't want to get too many decorations and then it not fit in the room that we're going to move into because this room is much bigger than that room. Um, so I'll just show you this angle of it and then this door leads into the kitchen um, that'll be probably the next video um, and then there's my two sleeping puppies this door leads outside to the back patio my big keeping pile of laundry and then there's this um, I will show you one thing we are planning on doing in here um, because we are not permanently planning on staying in this room, sorry, the TV's on, I could have turned that off. Um, we are just going to finish, we like, put a shower, um, what is that called? Rack? Is that called a shower rack? Pole? Shower? I'm not sure what that is. Curtain rod? A shower curtain rod? <laughs> there have a little closet we are going to close in and make it a little tiny closet the reason we're not worried about like making it a big closet is because again for the 10th time i'm pretty sure y'all understand that by now this room is just temporary for my husband and i so that will be like when we move that back out of this room whenever my brother and my sister-in-law move that will be like just a little utility closet because this room is eventually i'll show you to you from this angle do, 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 do. This room is eventually going to be um, the dining room area, I think. Eventually, like, please, let's not look at the laundry. Um, <laughs> like, years probably down the road, the this is eventually going to be turned into our kitchen. Because I, my dream is to have a huge kitchen, and the kitchen now is little. Um, another thing that we want to do here, sorry, it's kind of piled up now, right now, is we want to put a new wood stove in, but I do want to keep the wood stove. The other side of the wall in the living room, which you will see in another video, is a fireplace. Um, on this other side, so this side, I do want to keep the wood stove, but I would like a new one. So, like I said, the door right there is going to get replaced. All of the doors in the house are going to get replaced. I'm not sure. Um, they're all in pretty bad shape. So, all of the doors are going to get replaced. But as far as this room, um, not much needs to be done in here. Like I said, the floors are pretty much new. Oh, this part of the floor right here, my daughter thought it would be a good idea to um, paint my floors with fingernail polish. So if anybody knows how to get fingernail polish off of a floor without ruining it, please let me know. Because that would be amazing. I don't know how to do that. Um, 
So yeah. Uh, like I said, this room is not getting much. The main rooms that we'll be getting a lot are the kitchen has got to be finished and the bathroom. The bathroom is getting a major facelift. But I'm going to show you all the rooms and just kind of tell you the little bits of things that are going to be done in the rooms. This room, the biggest thing that will get done is the new wood stove and this getting finished into a closet. Um, like I said, it's not going to be a big closet because once we're gone, it'll just be used out of this room. It will just be used as like a utility closet because the master bedroom, which isn't as big as this room, um, the master bedroom has a decent sized closet. So I'm not going to build a huge closet here when once we move out of here, out of this room, it won't be much use. <clears throat> so this is house tour part one cold room slash temporary bedroom. Talk to you guys later.